Hi kids, it's Pastor Patricia from Holy Cross. I am talking to you today for the kids sermon that we'll have for this Sunday, October 11th, 2020, about uh, a time in the Old Testament in Exodus 32 called the building of the golden calf. Have you ever heard about it? Kind of a weird story, so hang in there. So you may remember that the Hebrews had been released from slavery in Egypt because Moses and God just really really worked hard and got them out and protected them and saved them from all kinds of things, even feeding them day and night with manna, which is um, something that is kind of like bread that they would have every day and quails, which is kind of like chicken that they would have every night. So anyway, uh, God is trying to take care of them and he takes them to this place called Mount Sinai, which is a great big mountain, kind of like Mount Hood. But then he says, don't touch the mountain. You could get killed touching it. It's a holy mountain. And then he has Moses come up the mountain to talk to him for 40 days, almost six weeks. That's a really long time. And they get worried. So let me read a little bit to you out of the message. It says, when the people realized that God was taking forever and coming down off the mountain, they rallied around Aaron, that's Moses' brother, and said, do something, make gods for us who will lead us. That Moses, the man who got us out of Egypt, who knows what's happened to him? Wow, they're really scared. And so they, they ask Aaron to uh, uh, help them. And Aaron says, give me all your gold jewelry that you had in Egypt and I will melt it into something for you to worship. So he made a golden calf. A calf is like a baby cow. I know, it's a weird thing to make. And they all had a big party and worshiped this golden calf. Just crazy, right? Because they've been followers of God all this time. So here's what I want to tell you about the, the people of Israel, the Hebrews. They were scared. They were really scared at this time. They were worried. They were really worried at this time. They were frightened. But they were also faithful and loyal. They were people just like us, people who get messed up sometimes and make poor decisions. But God kept on loving them through this whole thing. And Moses, well, Moses really comes into his own in this story because God gets really mad that the uh, uh, Hebrews are behaving like this and says some kind of mean things to Moses that he's going to do to the, the Hebrews. And Moses says, no, no, don't do that. You've got to remember, these are you people and you love them. I just thought it was kind of important for you guys and, and me to talk about how it is that sometimes we kind of go off the rails. Sometimes we're dumb and scared just like the Israelites were, just like the Hebrews were as they escaped Egypt. They were scared and frightened and they made dumb decisions sometimes. But I like the way Moses steps up and tells God, no, don't forget, they've always loved you and you, even more important God, have always loved them. So that's what I want you to take away with you today is to remember that even when you mess up, because I'm pretty sure you mess up once in a while, I do, even when you mess up, God loves you all through that, and God will show God's love to you and help you come back closer to him. What do you think? Pretty good idea, huh? All right, let's pray. Dear God, thank you for loving us. It is what makes all the difference. Be with my friends. Care for them. Help them to grow in love for you. And when they're scared, help them to remember you have never forgotten them. Amen. Okay, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.